Hey there! Here is a new video about the world we defines for all lovers of history. Let's get right to the chase. A Japanese submarine. The fate of this boat was unknown until 2006, when it was discovered by amateur divers 30 kilometers from the northern beaches of Sydney. The sub participated in the attack on the harbor during the World War II. At the end of May 1942, submarines belonging to the Imperial Japanese Navy made a series of attacks on the Australian cities of Sydney and Newcastle. A heavy cruiser USS Chicago was the main target in Sydney Harbor. On the night of May 31, three Kohai Teki class Mujut submarines, each with a two member crew, entered Sydney Harbor and tried to attack Allied naval vessels. After two of them were discovered, their crew members fired demolition charges that destroyed their craft and committed suicide without any significant damage to their lightships. These submarines were recovered from Sydney Harbor within a week. The third submarine, M24, fired two torpedoes at Chicago but missed the target. One torpedo ran ashore at Garden Island, failing to explode, while the second exploded beneath the requisitioned Sydney Harbor ferry Kutubul. The explosion broke the ship in half, and 21 Allied naval ratings, 19 Australian and 2 British, were killed. The submarine crew made for the harbor entrance but then disappeared, perhaps for some technical reason. Immediately following the raid, the five Japanese fleet submarines that carried the midget submarines to Australia embarked on a campaign to disrupt merchant shipping in eastern Australian waters. Over the next month, the submarines attacked at least seven merchant vessels, sinking three of them and killing 50 sailors. A Black Digger Russian police detained a resident of Tula who stored World War II weapons. The man was metal detected in other places known as World War II battlefields. He restored all the found weapons and put them into working order. A Mosin rifle, two pistols, two Spagin PPSH-41 submachine guns and hundreds of cartridges for various weapons were seized. The man explained that he was a passionate collector and wasn't going to use the weapon for its intended purpose. Now he faces a prison sentence for illegal possession of weapons and ammunition. The Dangerous Finds in the Novgorod region, a lot of World War II ammunition was found during a farm work. The tractor driver found explosive objects on the field. The miners arrived to the place, took all the dangerous stuff to the firing range and destroyed it by detonation. The most dangerous of the finds turned out to be a German rocket for Nebel Wehrform mortar. Police officers reported that the detonation of such ammunition from accidentally hitting by a tractor plow would destroy the vehicle together with the driver. A German motorcycle This year, in February, another digger from Kaliningrad was lucky. Having got a huge signal with his metal detector, he began to dig the ground. First, he saw a wheel and then the whole find. It turned out to be a German motorcycle abandoned by Wehrmacht soldiers during the retreat. It was possible to establish the brand. It was the DKWRT-125, which had been produced since 1939. The guy said that the color was sandy, as on this picture. Now the digger is looking for buyers to restore this find. Well, that's all for today, friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell not to miss new videos.